Hello everyone, my name is Friendzoned and today I wanted to show you a little trick that I use in my upcoming single series called Crystallization. A little trick that I use to come up with interesting chords. Uh, so what we're going to try to produce today sounds like this. So in the songwriting process, writing chords is of course essential. But to me, it's really hard to find interesting chords every time because I sort of have this basis that I work with all the time, but it ends up sounding the same every single track. So I came up with an interesting way to, uh, to come up with new chords. And the way it works is by using two very basic MIDI effects uh, that ha Ableton has uh, by default, which are the... Uh, chord effect and the scale effect. So in this video I'm just going to take you through uh, this little trick and hopefully you can apply it too. I'm going to use this scalar plugin by Plugin Boutique uh, just so you can see what I actually play on the piano etc. So if you're not familiar with the chord MIDI effect it's basically just takes the MIDI input that you give that you give it so in this case a, th a C3 and if you turn it on you just specify the interval that you want between the C3 and the following notes and it will add automatically the the notes above or below as you specify them so in this case I just this is just a major triad so with a, a major third a fifth and a, an octave so it will just sound like a C major chord but I only play one C3 and you can see uh, the chord that we'll play up there. So there you go. On my keyboard, I only play the C3, but because of the chord MIDI plugin, uh, MIDI effect, it plays uh, a C major chord. Now, if we only work with the chord uh, MIDI effect, in my opinion, it sounds a bit boring quite quickly because right now we're only having major chords through and through. So if I just play on the white keys of my keyboards here, you can see the name of the chord appearing there. But check this out. Those are just major chords and that's normal because we just specified the chords uh, MIDI effect to produce just classic major chords. So it's a bit boring, there's not much happening. But I decided to try to add after that a scale plugin. And the scale plugin, basically what it does is that uh, you can choose between a variety of different scales and then you can uh, specify the root notes that you're working with. So in this case, I'll just leave it on C. And it will just uh, put in place all the notes in the right scale. So for example, here, uh, C sharp is not part of the melodic minor scale in C. So C sharp is not part of that scale. But if I play a C sharp on my keyboard, it will directly put it back as a C. So right now I'm playing both a C and a C sharp, but it's still playing just a C because of this uh, scale effect. And if I just play the white keys of my keyboards now, it sounds like this, which is the melodic minor scale with a root uh, with C as its root. And if we use the two MIDI effects together, this is where it gets a bit interesting because we can get interesting results because at some point, the interval that I will specify on the chord will be further modulated by the scale uh, MIDI effect. So before that, we only had uh, major chords through and through. And now if I play already just a C3, it sounds like this. So that's a C minor, which is uh, different. If I play a D, it will sound like this. That's a D diminished. It's already quite a special chord, if you think about it. We have a E flat sus4, F minor, G minor, A flat major, B flat sus4, and C minor. And those are only the white keys of my keyboard. So you can see that we're getting very interesting results just by using those two basic uh, effects. So if we go back to the track I was working on, uh, let me just open the other effect track. I used the exact same technique. So I started with a, a, just a chord that I th thought was interesting. It's a bit of a weird chord, but I wanted it to sound weird because afterwards 
the scale MIDI effect will put the, the notes in the right places. So it sounds like this. So according to Scalar, we just have this chord now. And it doesn't sound really good, as you can hear. If we add the scale MIDI effect, we're, we'll get really interesting results. Now, I knew that the track I was working on at that time was in G Dorian mode, so Dorian mode and G as its root note. So I set everything up because I wanted it to sound in the right scale for my track. So I started messing around and came up with interesting chords uh, that I could use in my track. And you can see the name of those chords are quite uh, unusual. I mean, not unusual, but you have to think about them. And if you're not trained in uh, music theory, then those two can really be lifesavers to come up with interesting chords. So this is the trick I used to produce the track I was working on. And I thought it was really valuable and feel free to use it as well in your own productions. It can be super useful just as a blueprint as well. You just come up with uh, interesting chords and then you tweak them a bit, uh, a bit afterwards as well. Hopefully you found this video useful. My single series will be released in the following weeks. So every week there will be a track coming up for six weeks. It's called Crystallization. Go give it some spins on my SoundCloud or my YouTube channel. Hopefully you will like it. Thanks for listening and I'll see you later.